Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Felicia. Um, so in today's video, it's gonna be a little spooky. Um, I'm gonna be reading some paranormal stories that I got from Reddit. These are true stories that people have experienced and I just want to share it with you guys and see what you guys think. Um, I love these types of videos, so if you guys want me to do more of them, I will. Um, I want to try to make a series out of these. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. But no further ado, let's get into this. Um, so here we go. This was about 10 years ago now. Lived in an apartment with my then four-year-old daughter, just the two of us. Odd things would happen pretty frequently. I would clean the downstairs. I cleaned very thoroughly. I go upstairs, come back down, and things like a box of wine markers were on the counter. Light switch in my room would turn on and off so much I changed to a fluorescent tube, tube light into a plug. Picture a shop light with a chain pool that started doing the same thing. Not the light flickering. The chain would be pulled. In the winter, when the windows were all plastic sealed, my door would slowly open all the way. While I watched, we had baseboard heat. Once came downstairs after preheating the oven to the oven door wide open. This thing was spring loaded and wouldn't have fallen open, nor did I open it. Not all that into hauntings prior to this, but just chalked it up to a non-threatening entity because too much happened that I couldn't explain. This stuff would happen when it was just me in the house without the kiddo, sober as a jaybird. One day, I tried to take pictures with a digital camera to see if I could capture anything. Take a few pics, nothing off. Then, as I turn toward the bathroom, half the picture is jet black. Third, I face toward the bathroom fully, camera eyes. Fully charge it and take a few elsewhere, and it's working fine until I point it there again, camera eyes. While we're there, my daughter had pretty frequent nightmares and kind of half woke up from them. She sleeps like a bear, so I didn't really think much of it. The night I took those pictures, she has a really bad one. After like 10 minutes of half sleep, I get her to come to and she said her back hurts where the man scratched it. She's in full length footed pajamas, which I removed to check and she's got scratches on several parts of her back. Places that would be incredibly difficult to reach and nothing in her bed. She goes on to tell me that a tall man with hot hands put his hand on her back and told her to look at all the others, which she said there was a lot of. Was out within a month, never felt more terrified and helpless. I was super poor at the time, but we spent a few weeks at my brother's until I found something else. Today, To this day, when I bought my house, it was only out of sheer embarrassment that I didn't have a medium check the place first. It's been fine. Never had anything like that happen afterward, but I'll swear up and down that it was more than contrived coincidences. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I honestly think that is creepy and I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine going through that. Um, I've had, actually I did have experience where I did get scratched. Um, I, was pretty creeped out. So I kind of relate to what this situation is. Um, if you guys do want to hear about that, um, comment down below and I will do a story time. Thank you. Um, if you guys have any stories you guys want to let me know, comment down below and I will do them. I love sharing other people's experiences. Um, so yeah. Um, I will see you in the next video. Mwah.